Hi. Today I'll be showing you how to set up Microchip's ChipScale Atomic Clock using our evaluation board and Clock Studio. Let's get right into it. Here I have our CSAC installed on the evaluation board. The included cable provides communication and power to the board. Let's turn it on and go over the outputs. This is probably the most important one, our 10 megahertz out. When this lock LED is illuminated, that means that this frequency has atomic accuracy. Here's our one pulse per second out and our one pulse per second in. By putting a reference signal on our one PPS in, we're able to discipline the atomic clock to GNSS or any greater atomic reference. J4 and J5 are analog tune and the built-in test equipment, respectively. Analog tune can be configured within Clock Studio, and the built-in test equipment pin can be used in oscilloscopes for when atomic lock is achieved. Let's move over to Clock Studio and look at the interface. When you launch Clock Studio, you'll be greeted by this page. Clock Studio not only supports the CSAC, but all of these other embedded atomic clocks and our 5071 beam tube. To connect to the CSAC, choose the corresponding COM port and hit connect. On this opening page, You'll be able to go to the product web page, open the user's guide, and open the data sheet. It also lists any hardware information, such as the serial number, the hardware version, and the firmware the unit is running. On this tab, you'll be able to view all of the telemetry fields that are provided by the CSAC. To view anyone in particular, click on the Show Chart button to get data in real time. On this page, you'll be able to slightly change the frequency output of your CSAC. Simply enter a tune in parts to 10 to the 15, specify relative or absolute, and hit apply. This is also where you can configure the analog tune. On this tab, you can configure your disciplining settings, such as your pulse width, your time constant, and your threshold. On this tab, you'll be able to select the time of day according to the CSAC, as well as synchronize yourself with the PC's time. To view the power that your CSAC is consuming or enter ultra-low power mode, all of those settings are found on this tab. If any new firmware is available for the CSAC, go to this page, browse to the path, and hit upgrade. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit the product page where you can find documentation and links to download Clock Studio.